Today we're going to do, be doing an experiment involving sun and shade. So I have two clear containers of water and then I have some ice cubes. You only need two ice cubes. We're going to place one in the sun and one in the shade and see if the shade helps the ice cube from melting or if it matters or not. I think it should be fun. Let's go outside and test it out. All right, boys and girls, I made it outside and I have one cup sitting in the sun and one in the shade. So I'm going to place the ice cubes in it right now. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's see what happens. Here's our ice cube in the shade. And here's our ice cube in the sun. So far, they both look about the same. We'll come back and check in a few okay, minutes. Okay, so I came to check on them about five minutes later. And here is our ice cube that is in the sun. Now let's check on our ice cube in the shade. Not really much of a difference on the ice cubes, I feel like. They're kind of melting the same. Ooh, the water's freezing. This water's a little bit warmer. All right, we'll check back in a couple minutes and see where we're Came at. back out to check on them and look at this little guy. You can barely see him in the corner. Now let's check on our one in the shade. He's right there. He's barely there in the corner too. You can kind of see him. They're kind of almost melting the same. So for the rest of this, I can't wait to see what you guys do. You're gonna have to show me your results of what your experiment does. Shade versus sun. You can create your own shade structure. You could place it under a slide or whatever you think. All right, have fun, bye.